final change. Hi, my friends call me Lime and I want to help you perform even better in your videos. And to do that, we need to first cover target audiences. A target audience is a group of people for whom you are intending your message or product. And it is my conviction that every video creator benefits from picking one. Because if you don't know who you want to appeal to, then you're shooting in the dark or at least shooting without looking and then chances are that you won't be hitting anything important. In other words, chances are that your impact will be less powerful. Also, having a target audience helps when asking for feedback. If, for example, two people have different personal opinions about your channel, then you might want to go with the one for whom you are intending your channel. Now, one common pitfall is choosing an audience that is too large, or even worse, intending your channel for everybody. And I know that this is tempting, but it is a mistake for the simple reason that you can't impact everybody at the same time. You can't speak with five-year-olds the way you can with 45-year-olds. And you often need to give a different speech to your allies than you give to your opponents. And I have yet to find a humor that makes everybody laugh. And so the main rule here is that if you try to appeal to everybody at the same time, then the power of your impact suffers. Now, another pitfall is choosing a target audience that is too small. We often want to make videos about our specific interest exclusively, and that is often fine. However, if you only want to make videos about Bubsy the Bobcat games, what could possibly go wrong? Then you probably won't appeal to an audience wide enough for you to make it. Now, I'm not saying that that has to be the case, I'm just using an example to make a point. So the challenge here is to not pick an audience that is too large nor too small. So let's take a look at some situations and ideas about how one can approach them. If your target audience is too small, then one solution is to expand your content. For example, if you only cover Bubsy games, what could possibly go wrong? Then you should consider the benefits of expanding to also cover other platform games. And that way you appeal to a larger audience. So let's say that your target audience is big and it needs to be big. Let's say that you have a product for everybody, like toothpaste for example, and you need to market that. Then one solution is to divide everybody into several different target audiences and have a different campaign for each of the different groups. Kids could, for example, be shown a cartoon about why brushing your teeth is important, while adult enthusiasts could be given more advanced information about why this particular toothpaste is the better choice, and that way you don't try reaching everybody at the same time, but still end up reaching them all. Now, if you make gaming videos and you want to appeal to all gamers, then that is a tall order and you should consider having many different series. Actually, you should consider having many different channels because if you really want to appeal to all people who play games regularly, then you might want to have a channel targeted at kids under 10, for example. Other times, picking a target audience is extremely easy. You just go with the majority of the people who already watches your videos. And then your challenge is to get to know them because knowing your audience is a common saying for a reason. So I just wanted to end with saying that my tips aren't the only correct solutions and there are probably exceptions to what I'm saying. I just wanted you, who haven't already, to start thinking about these things. So tell me in the comments below, who is your target audience? Is it too big? Is it too small? Or is it just right? Thank you for watching. Bye.